Hey guys, welcome to the 194th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on the writer class. But before we do anything in this tutorial, just make sure that you have a method to write all these different data types right here. Alright, so once you have all that done, just go ahead and create a new method to write a string. So just say public void um, write string. All right, and then just have the user pass through the string that they want to write. So it's going to say string to write. All right, and we're just going to use the write method inside of the binary writer class to write our string. So we can just say pw.write, and you'd think we could just pass through a string right here. But if you ever pass through a string, just write through this write method inside of this binary writer class, what it's going to do is it's going to write the string but before it writes the string, it's just going to have a byte with the length of the string. So if we were to write Adam, we would write out A, D, A, M. And then right before it, it would write the length of the string, which is 4. So it would write out 0, 4 right there. So when it goes to read it, it would read 0, 4 and be like, all right, we're going to read uh, 4 characters to get the string. Well, we don't need to do that because in our reader class, we have the user specify how long the string is. So we don't need to write the length of the string before. That'll just make it all messed up. So what we're going to have to do is convert the string into a character array and write it as a character array. So we're just going to say to write and then convert that into a character array. All right, and now if we once we do that, it won't actually write the length of the string before. It'll just simply write out the characters. All right, so the next thing we have to do is create a method to write um, Unicode strings. So we're just going to say public void uh, write Unicode string. And then we're just going to have the user pass through the Unicode string that they want written. And remember, Unicode strings, uh, each character takes up two bytes, and they're used to write strange characters usually, like uh, applications dealing with uh, multiple languages. All right, so we're going to call this uh, to write right here. And since each character takes up um, two bytes, we're going to have to use the encoding class to actually convert it into a Unicode string. So what we're going to do right here is just say uh, byte array called buffer equals, and then we're just going to use the ternary operator to see um, what type of, or what the byte order is. So we're just going to say if the byte order is uh, big endian, then we're just going to convert this string that they pass through here into big endian Unicode. So we're just going to say if it's big endian, then we're going to um, set this uh, byte array called buffer right here equal to the bytes of a big endian Unicode string. So we're just going to say encode, oops, encode ing dot um, big endian Unicode, since it will do this if the byte order is big endian. And then instead of getting the um, string, we're actually going to want to get the bytes from the string. So we're just going to pass through the string that we want to convert into Unicode bytes. And that would be this to write string right there. But if it's little endian, then we're going to want to convert it into little endian Unicode. So we're just going to say encoding dot plain old Unicode, which is this little endian Unicode. And then we want to get the bytes uh, for a little endian Unicode. Uh, out of this string right here, so we're just going to pass through to write. All right, so basically what this will do right here is just if the byte order that the user set is big endian, then it's going to convert this string into big endian Unicode bytes. If it's little endian, then it's going to convert this string into little endian Unicode bytes. And now we have this byte array called buffer that's equal to those bytes that we want to write, so we're just going to write them using the um, write method inside of the binary writer class. We're just going to pass through that buffer right there. All right, so now we just have two methods to write the two different types of strings. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.